So I'm going to make us some batch of puff with this. I have that. I'm going to have this milk. It's very tiny, so I'm doing this for a Just like in case I don't wake up. This will serve as my other kind of snack. I'm going to mix this. I'm going to add a like some salt just a little bit and i'm going to add i know it's crazy but i'm going to add pepper i've seen it done before so this better works out just a tiny bit it shouldn't make it I see you. This is going to give you like a little bit of See, you don't even see it there. Well, I haven't stirred it so much. So. Now, if I need more, I'll be adding more afterwards. So I have this ginger allspice, and I believe this is gagging and cumin, and I'm going to add this all in. <laughs> Hello, like I just want something different, I guess, for the Ramadan. So I just smell this right now, and it smells nice. I smell this stuff. I guess it's coming true. I'm thinking should I add more milk? Powder milk or not? Maybe not. I don't want to be true enough. So I hope this is not too much um too much yeast. I guess it shouldn't be too much. So I have this zam zam water that I'm going to use to like melt it in the microwave. And I'm going to add some inside the mixture too. It's Zamzam water and I like it. I guess it's good for our food. So this is it with the Zamzam water. I'm going to microwave it so it melts, dissolve faster. It's already dissolving but like I want it faster so I can move on to the next thing. Like I said, I'm going to add the Zamzam. I'm going to add olive oil and the yeast and water and my puff puff is ready so maybe the sugar is not enough so I'm going to add more I mean puff puff is supposed to be really sweet so but I don't want it to make it too sweet and here is it so I added a little bit more water to the zam zam water with the yeast so it will have more water to this to this up, I guess. I'm going to add that in. I'm going to add some water as well. I guess it's the right time to just add some water. I mean, I have a lot of it left, but. And puff puff is supposed to be watery, not too watery, but watery. I like those ones that are not buns, like rock buns, but just in between. It's so good. Okay, I'm going to add my olive oil. I'm going to add my olive oil. Let me start to get that. I guess beside the flour, the sugar is like one of the main ingredients when you're doing a puff puff. Beside if you're doing boil, on like those medium, like a meteorite puff puff, like those one with lots of filling inside. Or lots of dough inside, sorry. Lots of stew inside. 
I'm gonna add water now and this should be ready to go. I hope I have enough yeast anyway. This is quite large. I didn't think it's going to like yeah. So I'm going to add this much yeast along with with it so it has something to rise up. Although I think what I had before should be enough, but it doesn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt. And besides, I'm leaving it with the light, so then add water now. So yes, I'm going to be leaving this overnight, like overnight, so that it can rise up and I'm, and then I'm going to be frying it tomorrow. So now my puff puff is ready, I'm covering it up and I'm leaving it until tomorrow. So I don't know what this tea is called, but I got it from my workplace. Now this is not for if char, it's for yeah, if char. Even though I'm not fasting, but just probably for my meal tomorrow. So this is possibly the black tea. Black. I'm going to make two cups because it's quite it's quite dense actually. Quite... Okay, so it's the second it's probably I'm s I won't say it's the second day of Ramadan because today will be like the first. No fast no yesterday was the fourth of breakfast and then today is the second day so i have my noodles and hopefully i'll be fasting tomorrow but, if not, but i think i might be fasting tomorrow you know don't you just love when you are period just come right before Ramadan maybe like four or five days and then you only miss like maybe the first two or three that's my situation right now so it's pretty good and it has happened to me like sometimes like often times it will come just right before Ramadan starts I'm like well on the one hand even though I could be even though I could be like not eating but then Fasting, and then I have left less days to repay back my fasting, so it comes pretty good and in handy. So I'm unlucky. So this this Ramadan is like the it's like that kind of Ramadan that I just have to be like maybe three or two afterward. Because last Ramadan I had to pay eight, which I did before the Ramadan. But then the previous one, it just come just right before the meals. Pretty lucky. So I added milk. I've always like like milk with tea if I have to drink. I probably could drink this tea by itself with just a tint of sugar, but if you know me, I like milk with my tea. And so, now I'm going to be going to eat now. It's past iftar already, so it's really dark outside. So I thought that I might still have some of the tea left in the bag, but it turned out that there isn't any left, so I'm going to switch this up and use this, the chai tea, 
I have two bags, so I'm using it. Ugh. This is not what I was hoping for. Like this, that, that tea bag, this was so good. It was so minty. Yeah. So I'm going to put this back in. I'm going to see if I can make two cups with one bag. I'm gonna see. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna see. So I don't think I'll be able to make two cups with one bag, just because I just like my tea to be a little darker than this. So I may have to like just use <laughs> one bag for each cup. This bag. For the next cup that I'll make, I'll probably make two more cups or just one. <sighs> mm, this smells really good and it's very meaty as well. Mm. And now, because it is me, I'm going to put my last ingredient which is milk <laughs> i think i think like i've only tried tea by itself without milk maybe like once or twice in my life like once or twice in my life i never drink tea without milk I don't know, I feel like it's a Nigerian tea, in the, um, sorry, I feel like it's a Nigerian thing to just not drink. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's like a Nigerian thing too, like, you have to have milk in your tea. Whether it's just lifting in or overting or Milo, it has to have <laughs> milk. I don't know why, I don't know how. I don't know why that is, but I feel like it's a Nigerian thing because I've seen a lot of people drink tea, like black tea by itself or like even coffee. Even for me, I can never, I can never try coffee by itself, like drink coffee by itself, even though it's supposed to be more caffeinated, but I, can, I just can never try coffee by itself. No way. Like, I'll feel like I am drinking agu, like, real, real, real grandma agu, agu grandma, no, no way, I'm not trying that, it is so bitter, it is too bitter. And this, if I have, if I made my puff puff, I'll say like, yeah, this is set. I'm set for the but no. And besides, I think I'll be actually eating puff puff with two cups of tea for Zuhur. Yeah, that sounds like a that sounds like a meal. I'm gonna try it today. This is good. Tea is good, I swear. Tea is a Nigerian cup of tea. Tea and pap. Cocoa at tea. Ni cup with Nigeria. No, no, no. Cup and we with Nigeria. I don't even know if I say that right. But yeah. Tea and pap is Nigerian cup. Nigerian's cup of tea. Coffee is not. Even though, like, you wa you'll be watching some uh, Nigerian movies. they be like, I have to have my morning coffee. I'm like, please. But you know, it's traditional, right? Like, it's traditional for like some parts of the world to like, you know, cocoa is for the Yorubas in Nigeria. I don't know for Igbo. I'm going to ask my friend. Hmm. I'm going to ask my, my, my Igbo friends about like, so what's, because you know, in like abroad like you drink coffee in the morning and yeah it's reasonable to think that cocoa for you but or maybe they try to go to like other tribes i'm not sure but you're right, it's cocoa. 
and then you'll be like watching Hollywood movies and like, I have to have my morning coffee. <laughs> if I haven't have my morning coffee, I'm not awake yet. It's actually, it's not a slack. But you know, it works. I mean, like, sometimes I feel more awake. No, not that I feel more awake, but I, I don't even think that I, I'm not traditional about drinking coffee in the morning. I feel awake anyway <laughs> in the morning. Maybe it's not traditional for me. If I ever had coffee in the morning, maybe I went, I go to some places with my friends, and we maybe like we went to Starbucks or um, Teams, and then we get to talking. And I said, like, you know, we're here anyway. Why don't I just have a cup? That's the only time I'll get coffee. I won't even make it in the morning, but I'll make tea in the morning. I I make tea quite often in the morning and drink tea, not coffee. <laughs> but if I go to Teams or Starbucks, I will buy a cup. So just when you think that this florid stain is over, then it shows up again. Like for the past few days, it has been so good. The weather was so nice. But look again. It's like, yay, I'm back. It is time to get it up and fry this. Now, I do not have enough oil. So I went to the store and bought myself some margarine. So I'm going to be with as reason so well. It has risen so well. Look at this. So <laughs> before in the afternoon was about here. So I'm going to use margarine instead. I mean the margarine is made from hundred percent vegetable oil, so it's like I'm using vegetable oil. So because what I have is I have um I have olive oil and it's so small I don't think it'll be enough so it's better if I use this plus whatever weight I gain I guess I need it anyway I probably should save some of this butter for the amount time I think I'm going to add yeah. I mean I don't think butter is not I don't even think I need it that much. So I had it olive oil because mm. I feel like this is how um, pop up should be. Like a little, because you know, there are some pop up that they are so light, like they make the dough so watery that when like you, when it's reached the the, the fire, it just inflates, it rises, but then you open it and there is no dough at all. Like there's absolutely no dough. So I feel like this is how it should be. Now, all I hope now is that this is um, it's cooked inside because it's not cooking, so it's not good. It has to cook inside.
this came out a bit too more golden that, than I anticipated. Like the the heat is not even it's a medium, but then it just still came out like this. I'm going to leave this in. I maybe I should. Here is my puff puff. I mean, this one turned out a bit more golden, but trust me, it's not burnt. So, I tried it and it was really good, but the outside was so salty. No, it was not too salty, but salty. And you know what? I'd only put in... So, I'd only put in this much of salt in like two cups or maybe like three cups of flour. And it still turned out a bit salty. Lesson learned, but it's actually really good. Spicy. I got everything that I want, except that the salt <laughs> at the in, on the outside. But it's really good. So I added like sugar around it. I don't know if I seen sugar, but I added sugar around it, and uh, it's a bit better. I think it's done, but I want to like take it out now and then I have to split it open. I'm going to leave it for a few more minutes, like maybe two or three minutes. So I'm sprinkling some sugar to dampen the saltiness a little bit because it's a little bit salty. So I'm finishing. That will help. So this one is turning out well. I'm going to add more sugar so I can mix it up. So this last one turned out a bit more lighter, more dense, less golden, which is good. I like it this way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.